Well, it's that time of the year again, and the most active place in Sydney for the state, for that fact, is the uh, taxation department's offices here in Elizabeth Street. It's the one month of the year when, for most of us, the wage and salary earners face the enormous annual struggle with income tax returns. However, it's not always financially rewarding. Quite the opposite in many cases. Like it or not, we must face the facts. The tax man doesn't miss a trick. You only have to look at last year's figures, and it was an average year. 12,000 people were taken to court for failing to lodge their returns. Taxpayers, and there are one and a half million of us who have problems in filling in their forms, can obtain expert advice from officials of the department. In fact, they're all out to help, as well as personal attention, an after-hours dial and answer telephone service is operating Monday to Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m. The number is 20322. More than 100,000 people have already filed their returns here in New South Wales. Already 6,500 have been dealt with, and by the end of the week, the figure should reach 25,000. However, Department of Taxation officials that I have spoken with here today uh, are a little disappointed with the result. Deputy Commissioner Gray says he has the staff on hand to deal with immediate returns and assures that those people who make an effort can be assured of rapid treatment. From the Taxation Department offices, Peter Hanrahan reporting. <laughs> is an announcement of general interest. The Deputy Commissioner of Taxation said today that income tax returns for wage earners are due for lodgement by the 31st of July. Preparations have been made to handle speedily the thousands of returns expected in the next few weeks. The aim being to post up to half a million refund checks by the end of August. Taxpayers would greatly assist in achieving this by ensuring that their returns are filled in correctly and lodged early.